Sorry guys, I haven't really posted a, um, a lot of videos. I said I was going to post one every day, but I completely failed at that. So, I'm going to try and post a few videos a week. Most likely, I'm going to post a video every two to three days. So, yeah guys, stay tuned for that. Um, the channel is doing pretty well in total views, and we're getting more and more views every single day. And our total view count is actually going up pretty high. So, thank you guys for that. So, but now, let's get on to the... Yeah. Let's get on to the video. And by the way, guys, this is for again for those top of the top line PCs that people are building. If you want the top of the top cards, what's it called? This is for all the top of the top people, high rollers, and all that. So starting off the video, we have the Gigabyte R9 29 290X um, DDR5. Um, it has four gigabytes. Has two DVI, HDMI, and a DP cable, of course. OC graphics. Um, there's only two left in stock on Amazon, but what's it called? So order now. Of course, this is for dual monitors. This will be great. Overclocking, yes, this will be great as well. Overclocking is an absolute must for pretty much all of these cards. Running at a, a solid core clock of 1040 megahertz and a memory clock of 500 megahertz. I mean, 5000 megahertz. Sorry. So yeah, um, it supports AMD Crossfire, of course. More well, dirt is probably why it's a gigabyte card. So yeah, I'm de I re definitely recommend checking Newegg or Amazon for both of these. Amazon has um, two left in stock, but so yeah, the price is a solid five hundred and twenty dollars. So and, yeah, guys, I said tw five hundred twenty dollars really weird. So yeah, guys, let's get on to the next one. Okay, yeah, guys, heading on to the next one, we have the. Um, Asus, Asus gra a uh, Asus graphics cards GTX 780 Ti. This card looks. That's weird. I heard, I just I thought I just heard a noise. Um. Crap. It has actually pretty well cooler. So yes, again, water cooling is absolute must. Um, what's it called? Wow, this is like a very weird one. Okay. It has um, 10, 20 megahertz boost clock for better performance. Of course, you pretty much max out most games. Um, definitely, maybe a good solid 70, 60 FPS around there, depending on your, uh, depending on how um, much you overclock it. So yeah, this um, what's it called? You get six times faster game performance than reference GeForce GTX 780 Ti. Um, so this is actually faster, a bit faster than a GeForce, uh, GeForce 78, um, 780 Ti. So this would be better, but G of uh, the GeForce is actually a bit cheaper because this price. How much is this? Oh, okay, this card is a solid six hundred dollars on Amazon. So, yeah. Whoa. Okay. So you guys, let's get on to the next card. So yeah guys, moving on to the next card, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 980. 4GB of solid DDR5 RAM on this card, or DDR5 gigabytes on this card. 26% cooler, which is great, it has um, what's it called, 36% quieter, um, quieter cooling. So that is perfect for those overclockers out there. It comes with um, two, um, what's it called, two, well I forgot those are called. Has a DVI, it has a, D, a DVI to VGA adapter, so cause not, not a lot of people have um VGA um cables or like monitors these these, these yeah anymore. So yeah, has let me tell you, okay. 
Ooh, okay, on Amazon, there's only a few left. There's only like about five left. So order before other people order. Or, or you can get it off Newegg. You know, as many other places you can pretty much get it for. Um, <clears throat> out of all the GeForce GTX series, I would definitely recommend the 980. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard a lot about this card. And the price tag, of course, which is about... It's on sale on Amazon for about $509. And you, you save 60% off. It's 11% off now. So, yeah. Hold on, I have to sneeze real quick. <coughs> oh, sorry for that. Um, it has 1266 memory um, megahertz boost clock, 1367 mem uh, megahertz boost clock. So, yeah, overclocking would definitely do a big difference. And it, overclocking is highly recommendable for all these cards. Going on to the fourth card, we have, yes... You guys have heard of this card. Well, you've heard, you heard of this card's little brother. Um, you guys have heard of this card's little brother, the GeForce GTX Titan X. This is the G, is is that card's big brother. It is a EVGA GeForce and GTX Titan Z. It's a different um, version of the Titan. It's 12 gigabytes of gaming. Pure goodness. This will run pretty much every single game you throw at it. It's maximum settings. 120 FPS. You'll be you'll do just fine no matter what. Um, this card comes at a size price of one thousand six hundred dollars on Amazon. So if you're the high roller, if you're the high rollers out there, it's pretty much that's the price you're going to be spending. Overclocking, duh, you don't really need overclocking, but you could overclock. That is a seven hundred and five megahertz boost clock, seven thousand megahertz effective CDU cords, or cores, which is pretty good. Dual monitors is an absolute must, guys. I mean, this card is like. Is like the best card, one of the best cards you can buy out there. Comes with a VGA to DVI, um, what's it called? Cable, of course, because some people don't have DVI. There's a DVI D port and DVI I port, and another HDMI port and a D port, I believe. Yes, a D port, and uh, of that you can get adapters, adapters for those as well. And this takes, this is gonna take a lot of power, so make sure you're, got, um, make sure you have enough juice in running your system. So yeah, let's get on. To, let's go ahead and get onto the last and final card, guys. Going on to the last card, we have the X FX R nine two ninety five X two. This is with um with the closed um loop liquid cooling eight gigabyte DDR five graphic graphics card, guys. This is, I mean, guys. This is like the most expensive one of the most expensive graphics cards out there. It's about a solid price, um, of um, one thousand eight hundred dollars for this freaking graphics card but what you can water you know, but it's water cool which makes a little bit more sense um not i'm not i'm not sure if um x fx is a pretty good uh, is a pretty reliable brand but for a thousand for over a, a way over a thousand dollars i think it should be top quality it's a dual gpu designed for maximum performance of course you can be perfect for all those games new games battlefield black ops 3 fallout all of them maxed out settings no matter what it has 8 gigabytes, like I mentioned earlier. Um, DDR5, duh. It is complete with a closed water cooling system, which will minimize your chances of leaks. And of course, it's 4K resolution ready. If you're going to buy a car like this, of course, you're going to have a 4K monitor if you want the best experience. You're going to have three monitors. This thing will be ready and perfect for three monitors. I mean, it won't have any problems there. So, yeah. It has four. What the heck? Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> has four um. Whoa, where's that? At? Had it down here. Okay. Max screen resolution is 4096 times 2160. Guys, that is like the maximum, maximum, maximum everything. It's it's, a, it's from AMD, of course. <clears throat> it weighs about six pounds, which makes sense because water cool and everything is in there. Um, it doesn't tell me. Here we go. Okay. Has one DVI, I mean one DVI port, and I don't know why you would need this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's four fucking or freaking <clears throat> um, um, DVI. I mean D ports, which uh, I don't know why you can have four monitors. I mean three monitors, pretty much everyone has. Four monitors is way too fucking much. I mean, unless you have like a laptop, three monitors and a laptop, that makes a bit of sense. Well, fucking five mount. Now you're gonna yeah, that's pretty um extreme there. So. Yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoy. I'm, yes, I will be posting a video 
one on one video every two to three days because I'm starting to see his channel grow and I have to I really have to post more and more and more. I really want to see his channel grow and my ultimate goal for by the end of next year to by the end of 2016 I want to be at at over 100k subs. Yes guys. And once I get to 100k I will do of course do giveaways and all that stuff. So please subscribe if you didn't already. Really means a lot to me or me and my friend who started this channel. We're both tech enthusiasts. We both know what we're talking about. And we both know what we're doing. Um I'm going to do a, you know I'm going to do a separate video today just to just to talk about um just to talk about um pretty much what's going on in our channel. So yeah guys, I'm going to do a channel um uh what's it called? What's those things called? A channel um crap. Okay, a channel intro. There we go. Got him. Okay. <laughs> so yeah guys, I'll see you guys. All these cards are fucking expensive and maybe one day you'll have one in your hand or in your system. So yeah guys, hope ho see you guys in the next